I started to just ask him to his face. I hear you're molesting kids. I hear you're a child molester. And instantly, everything changed. Life has never been the same. Linda Hastreiter has been on a mission for 30 years. Hastreiter and her mother Marge are community activists in Buffalo's Lovejoy neighborhood. We have pictures of the sports teams in the neighborhood. Where they run a museum dedicated to its history. They say the darkest part of that history is not the empty storefronts or the crumbling homes, but rather a political system, lawyers, politicians, judges, that protected an accused predator at the expense of the boys and girls of Buffalo. The system failed every single, every single boy, whether they were from Lovejoy or not. And I remember the incident vividly. Yeah. Vividly. Just before 11 p.m., Calabrese says he found a young college student, Paul Gaeta, in a parked car with an 11 year old boy. I remember seeing his head come up from between the, the young man's legs. Government records obtained by the I team, kept secret for years, confirm Calabrese's account of the arrest. I remember just coming across this guy and arresting him, and it was like gold. I mean, he was quite bold, but the way he did it. Gata was charged with child endangerment as well as a felony sex charge. But it was here at Buffalo City Court where he would receive not jail time, but the sealing of a sex crime. A secret memo written by an Erie County probation officer cites, quote, letters of reference in a psychiatric report, which stated that a doctor did not believe Gata would do this again. The charges were dismissed and the case sealed. Paul Gaeta would never see the inside of a prison. I find it incredible that this crime where the perpetrator was caught in the act involving an 11 year old boy, that the charge was ultimately disposed of by virtue of an adjournment in contemplation of dismissal. Former New York State Attorney General Dennis Vacco says the outcome in this case mirrors that of a traffic infraction. In other words, no criminal record, no conviction, and if you behave yourself for six or 12 month period, the charges would be automatically dismissed. So that's it's, it's, it's mind boggling to me. The Erie County District Attorney in 1978 was Ed Cosgrove. His office agreed to the deal, but Cosgrove in a brief phone call said he does not remember the case and would not have handled it personally. He declined to comment further. But once a charge is filed, there's another uh, party to the equation, and that's the court. The judge who agreed to dismiss the charges and seal the records was former Buffalo City Court Judge Anthony LaRusso, who went on to face sexual misconduct allegations of his own. The State Commission on Judicial Conduct would go on to censure and later remove LaRusso from the bench, citing, quote, offensive, undignified, and harassing conduct toward female court employees who were as young as 19. Many of the sexual allegations against the judge who dismissed this charge are too graphic to describe on television. He declined to comment about whether political connections played a role in dismissing Gaeta's case, specifically influence from a powerful member of the Buffalo Common Council. Vaco was a young prosecutor in the Erie County DA's office at the time of Gaeta's arrest. He did not work on Gaeta's case, but his decades of experience tell him that dismissing a felony sex crime would have been unusual and would have required the approval of top officials in the DA's office. Former DA Ed Cosgrove says no political influence would have affected this case or any others that he prosecuted. I think that what happened in this case is that I think phone calls were made. In this instance, the defendant had friends in high places and they helped him. Those friends would put Gaeta in charge of a community organization in Lovejoy, where for the next decade he would have direct access to some of the most vulnerable children in the Queen City. That's crazy. It's malfeasance. All these people all knew about it. The whole city knew. Letters were written, comments were made, I mean everything, but nobody did anything.